Hello everyone! In this video we're going to look at the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 25 to 11. In addition, this video will cover the changes from build 25 to 06. These new changes are not tied to any specific release of Windows, however some of them are expected to arrive as soon as they're ready through a moment update or some others may arrive with the next feature update in the fall of 2023 or even in the next version of Windows which could happen in 2024. Okay, here's what's new on Windows 11 build 25 to 11. In this release, there are not a lot of significant improvements, but Microsoft is bringing back the option to open Task Manager from the Taskbar context menu. So now when you right click the Taskbar, you will notice a new option to open Task Manager and there is even an icon of the application, which is really nice to have. And now when you click that option, it will open Task Manager directly. So now I was looking at the context menu and as you can see now we have icons. It'll be nice if in future updates we'll get icons for each of the items when you right click the start menu because now this menu actually looks really plain. Microsoft is also working on a new interface for the system tray which is similar to the previous version but the new one just looks a little bit different and it makes it more consistent with the design language that we see on Windows 11. This interface is a little bit wider and now includes a support for a modern drag and drop feature. So you can now drag and drop your icons. And just moving around with the different animation. And when you hover over the items, you will see that the tooltip has also been updated to have a modern design. In the uh, widgets experience, Microsoft has separated the widgets picker and settings. So starting with build 25 to 11, you will now need to click the plus button to add new widgets. And if you want to, and if you want to change the settings to access that page, you will need to click the profile button, which is this one right here. At the time of this video, I don't have that feature, but I can show you a screenshot from Microsoft that shows how that menu looks like. And from this page, you have more control or how the experience works, even in the taskbar. Uh, for example, now you can change the behavior of the weather icon. For example, now you can choose whether the widgets board will open when you hover over the button. So right now there are no options to control the widgets icon, which is this one right here. So when you hover over even accidentally, it will open the board, but in future updates, we're going to get an option to control that. So you actually have to make a click to open the board. Also, there is an option to enable or disable notifications for the icon. And because the widgets icon can also show dynamic content like breaking news and other type of announcements. So if you don't want that kind of distraction moving in the taskbar, you can also disable that as well right here. So it will be nice that we're going to have options to control that icon instead of just having to disable the feature altogether. Also, now the archive, let me just go to that page. The archive apps feature will not include an option to enable or disable that specific uh, feature within the advanced apps settings. In the past, you click this option, it will take you to another page to enable or disable this feature. But now it will just be an option right on the advanced app page. Also on build 25206, Windows 11 is renewing the open with UI experience that we've seen like many times, but many other times the company have to disable it and then enable it again. So now it's back and let me just show you, this is how it looks and it looks just like before, but now it should be more, more stable to use. Finally, Windows 11 is also extending the dynamic refresh rate to external displays. However, it only works with displays that feature 120 or more Hertz with variable refresh rate. You also need to have the WDDM 3.1 driver installed. And that's pretty much all that's new on the last two previews of Windows 11 from the dev channel. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.